Hello again and welcome to Lilybrook. Now I played a competition yesterday and I made a bit of a pig's ear of some holes. Now you know that old expression, drive for show, putt for dough. Well, yeah, there is truth in that, but I don't like that particular expression. I think, God, this thing's getting heavy. Why don't I just put the legs down and stand the tripod up? I don't know, I'm dumb. I think drive for show, putt for dough, kind of like belittles the important part of that, which is drive for show. If you don't drive for show, you're not putting for dough. That's my thought. Now, yesterday I played in a competition. I shot 80, which I was quite happy with. But there was a few drives that were a little bit off. And I'm, I'm not talking about wild into the next county. I'm talking a little bit off that kind of like scuttled off the hard fairway because the fairways are getting a bit baked, it seems it's summer, and just finished up behind a tree or in an awkward position. So instead of me making a, a par, I actually made a double. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and play the holes that got away from me yesterday. So I'm gonna try and prove that if, if you drive for show, you do get a putt for the dough. And if you don't drive for show, then you don't get a putt for, for dough. I think that driving is probably the most important part of the game for us amateurs. Not so much for the pros. They don't tend to have trees next to the fairway on their golf courses. They're always about 30 yards away. They can drive virtually anywhere they like. Even if they go in a fairway bunker, you know, one of those flat expanses of sand with no lip on. They can reach the green with a five iron. So I think for us, it's more important to drive for show. And we'll start on the second tee. Now I need to go warm up, so I've got a chance. See you in a moment. Well, I've just started my round with a double. So I'm not exactly happy coming to this tee. Now yesterday, I just tweaked it a bit left and I was right behind a tree, so I had to chip out sideways, made a mess of the third shot and walked off with a double. So there's gonna be a bit of anti-left in this swing. But at least I'm in the fairway this time. Now we've got a bit of north wind and I'm between clubs, so a lazy six iron. And it's perfect, so let's see if we can put for some dough after driving for show. Come back. Come on. on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandy Park. Sandy. No. Oh, you did, didn't you? Got it. Still an up and down. Oh. Can't this of the screen. So on the fourth, I leaked one to the right, just a tiny bit, but the ground took it even further right. My chip out clunked the tree and I ended with a double. Look at that yesterday. Look at that on the shop tracer in the mic. It'll look good. Now one thing I don't like about rock hard ground is I don't know where to aim. I don't know what club to take. I don't know where to land it. Cut, cut, cut. And I've just tugged this into the left hand trap where there is very little sand.
and so forth. I knew I'd find it hard to fly on my ball. When the second one landed on there, I definitely thought <laughs> I was looking at the flies rather than thinking about what I was about to do. I always think you're think, going for a ride, pal. Think about where I'm going to hit this fly. Go ahead, There's a bit of anti left in that swing. Yesterday, my three wood went a tiny bit left, so I was chipping out, which cost me a single bogey. I think I'm doing better today. Hole. Yeah, that's the hard part, isn't it? Because you're so close that it's hard to commit, isn't it? It's a long, long way up that hill, isn't it? Very long way up that hill. It's a Pesebi, I didn't think I had enough club there. That'll turn right as well. Can you get it out from the left? Cash. Very cash. With heat, we've got something. I'd have missed if I'd used both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight cost me a double two. I went down the left, I had a shot past the left side of the tree, hit the tree, went in the pond. I had to take a penalty, and that is another bad drive. And this lie isn't good enough to do anything with. I can't go over the tree, I can't do un under the tree, so I'm just just trying to knock it out and didn't get it out. But I got a second chance here. So I finished the front nine with a par on the ninth. So a double on the first, double on the fourth, single bogey here. I was five over after nine. So it was looking very much like yesterday. But then I birded the tenth. Then we went to 11. Now at 11, I managed to talk myself into hitting a seven iron instead of my usual eight. So I went flying out the back and made a bogey. Let's see what we got today.
I didn't think that was coming back. I thought you shoved it, you muppet. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's not tooth today, is it? So yesterday, I hit it to the right, into the trees. I hit a tree with my second shot. Ended up with a double. Like that one. It is. A little better today though. It wouldn't have liked yesterday's. Second shot is a bit of a stretch for my four iron up this hill. So I'm going with a hybrid. And make sure I keep it out to the right and not in that bunker. Tell you what guys, I'm all in. Second day running, playing in this heat. I'm out of energy. Anyway, drive for show, put for dough. Is there an or in there? Is it drive for show or put for dough? Is it equally important? I'll let you decide. I'm certainly doing better on the holes I mucked up yesterday. So, yesterday I didn't drive for show. Today, a little better. Anyway, I'll say cheerio here. There's only one more hole after this, that's 17. Let's see if I can play that a bit better. God, absolutely knackered, absolutely knackered. Ta-ra panicking about who's it belong to. Oh wow. Shit. A bit. <laughs> Shit. Positioned nicely to watch my ball go in the hole from the side. It was. Front flag again. So it's five iron and it's up the hill and let it run down. But this is just a hair short. And it's not an easy chip to a front flag when you're a hair short. Should have taken a four, I think. Oh, it's short. Yes, you are. Just short. Go on in here. Not the easiest chip, just trying a little pop with the sand wedge here. But I just get it a little, yeah, just a little firm. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Finish the round on my handicap. So, drive for show, but for dough. Ta-ra!